Hey guys, Heidi here, and I am going to be creating a version. Oh, I'm kind of sideways, sorry about that. I'm trying to do it this way because it's hard to see everything I'm doing the other way. I'm gonna be creating a Halloween version of this, okay? So this was um, done on Pinterest, but we don't know who the artist is for this. Um, but I'm gonna be creating a Halloween version, so I'm not copying hers exactly. I wanna kinda of spruce up my own. So I went and got one of these pumpkins from um, Michael's. They have these on sale right now for 50% um, off. And because our stores aren't carrying real pumpkins, what I was gonna do is do a real pumpkin. And hey guys, go ahead and tell me hi when you get here. Um, I bought a bunch of these. They have these on sale right now. And then look at the cutest stuff I got. So some of it's from like a fairy section, which I absolutely love. Hey, Julie. Hey, Karen. Hey, guys. Um, and then some of it is from Michael's. Like, look at how adorable that is. It lights up. And I thought, how cute is this? So, um, so if y'all don't mind, um, there is a link in the description. Um, by clicking on that link, you will get um, entered in a chance to win Happy Mail for me. And I'm going to be sending something um, fall, something really cute fallish. Me and Pixie like to go shopping for y'all sometimes. Um, and then um, you'll actually get a message from me. So if you do it and you don't get a message, please let me know. We're testing something out. So hey guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you just a little bit of what is going on. And I bought these really cute lights. And again, for those of y'all that are just joining, um, we are doing a Halloween version of this. Isn't that adorable? So you could do this with um, real pumpkins, or I'm doing this with a fake pumpkin. And then I think I'm actually going to teach this at one of the parties. So I have glue gun. My glue stick fell out. Glue gun. <laughs> I have, this is a full-on craft session here, okay? Um, so I'm going to show y'all, um, a little bit of the steps and just how you can kind of just have fun with it and um, the first step is going to be to paint the door and to paint the windows so that we have a place to kind of make our camper look like a camper and um, here's the thing you can do this however you want I'm turning it into a fall camper and um, just because I am ready so ready to decorate for fall hey Helen hey guys um, and then if you do um, the link, if you click on the link in the description, it's going to send you an, uh, we're trying to get fancy here at Texas Art and Soul. It's going to send you an automatic, um, it's going to send you an automatic message. So please let me know if it works. We're testing out a couple things here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have like kind of a place of where it will hold steady. Some people are putting wheels on here and they're going crazy, but what I'm going to do is just kind of find a flat spot. And from that flat spot, I'm going to just find a place I want the door. So I'm going to have my door similar. We're just going to freehand it. So she went about a little bit more than halfway up because we want to keep room for the flag, which I'm going to be um, sharing how we can make little flags real quick. It'll be a simple little trick. Um, and tell us where you are from. Where's everybody from? I'd love to know what y'all are doing and if anybody is seeing leaves turn yet. <laughs> we are still 100 plus degrees here in Texas, so I love whenever I start to hear of the weather getting nicer. Yeah, we had a little bit of a storm today and I went and sat outside and I was like, this is so nice. Just some wind, just anything that can come. Okay, so I am making the door and this is going to be a little challenging because of the ridges. So you wanna just kind of work with those ridges. So I'm just gonna kind of go slowly. Oh, hi Blue. Please come in to say hi. Okay, y'all can tell I'm concentrating really hard when my mouth shuts, <laughs> right? Okay, um, 
Modesto, California is in 105 today. Yeah, that's how we've been. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, so hot lately. So I'm gonna turn this this way for a second. This would be kind of cute too, as um, you know, you could put the door this way if you were doing kind of like a pumpkin house. You could get your own creativity on there. And here's the thing, for all of y'all that teach paint parties, you know, I would be cautious if you teach the paint party. Like I think I have one book that I'm doing this for. And the reason why is you can get really, like this stuff can get really expensive, it's expensive if you go crazy on a bunch of stuff. Um, some of it is not as expensive, but what I would do is like limit it to a certain amount of people. And what I would do is make sure, oh, thank you Raylan for sharing the love and um, sprinkling the happiness all over. So I would limit it to a certain amount of people that of course prepay, y'all know I teach um, profit every party to make sure they prepay ahead of time. And um, that way you can have the stuff ready. So some of this like little table, I just wanna look at my door from this angle. This little table was part of a little fairy thing. So like if you go to Big Lots or something like that, these things are marked on sale because it's more of a spring, a spring thing. So all this was like marked on sale. However, you have to make sure, so like this one, they had about, this set was at Big Lots. They had about, I'd say 20 of these and they're three dollars a piece for a set so when you start to add everything together you know three dollars for that you know let's say you spend you know five dollars on the cat whatever it is you want to make sure that um that you're not doing too much of like all the extras or you charge for the extras something like that and um, i want to do this but i'm always nervous but you are inspiring me love it hey guys this is the time oh my gosh whether you're nervous or not just do it <laughs> because we are in the season. And those of y'all that think, oh, well, I'll just try in the spring because I'm too scared right now. Eh -eh. Now is the time to get your feet wet. Now is the time to try it because it is fall and Christmas season. And this is the most fun time of year for us crafty DIY paint party crafters, Pinterest D party crafters. Um, besides the fact that everything is cute right now, like <laughs> everything, um, everybody's inspired, everybody's wanting to spend time with their family and friends. It's just really a fun time of year to be a part of it and to have those fears hold you back right now. Oh, it would just be a shame. Um, did anybody try that link? Did it work? Did anybody get a message? Just curious. The link is in the description. We're trying something new. And if you click the link in the description, then you should get an automatic message from me. Obviously, I'm not sending it. It's like a little magic robot. And you're gonna get entered in the chance to win the Happy Mail, which I'm gonna go pick out something cute for fall. I saw some really cute little things. Okay, so we just have our window placement, okay? So window placement has happened. Um, again, I put mine kind of on a tilt so I wouldn't have to add a bunch of wheels and stuff like that. So while that's drying, I am going to cut out the little triangles for the camper, okay? So we want this to dry a minute before we start adding details. Now, all you do is just get a piece of black construction paper. Um, Teresa says, I did. Yes, it works. Oh, great. I'm oh, so happy to hear that. Thank y'all for sharing and thank y'all for letting me know. Okay, so scissors. Where did my scissors go? Hold on. I just had them like five seconds. Oh, there they are. <laughs> There's my scissors. Okay, so I'm just using black um, scrapbooking paper, construction paper. You can use anything you want. Um, and then I'm just going to cut out. I want the size of the the things probably about like this. So about an inch, y'all, not very, not very much, about an inch. And then we're gonna cut triangles. So this is again, really simple. So I'm just gonna cut them like this. I'm gonna put them on a paper plate so I can grab them. And let's see, clicked on the link, got message said I am entered. Yay, oh, that's wonderful. 
Thank you all for try testing that for me. Now that we have one done, every time I cut this, it's going to make another one, okay? So I'm just cutting, 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 cutting to make a bunch of little triangles. So for those of y'all that are just joining, this is what I was inspired by on Pinterest, but I am creating it into a Halloween version, okay? Because fall and Halloween are some of my, it's like fall, Halloween, Christmas, it's my favorite times of year. I love this time of year. Although this summer was really, it was one of our best summers. We had a, a lot of fun together, me and my family. So, I don't know. I'm like, usually summer, I'm kind of like, oh, it's fun. But then it's like, I'm ready for fall. This was the first time I was kind of like, I think it's because Pixie's getting older. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we have basically, eight to nine. we have four more summers. And then she's, you know, going to be in college. And I'm like, oh, you know, like, we got to make him count. You know, when she was littler, it was like, oh, if we don't do something, you know, it's not a big deal. And now we're like, she's going to remember this. <laughs> it's kind of a, a little scarier, a little scarier thought. And the fact that, you know, we can only force her to go on vacation with us for so many years. And then it's, you know, kind of like, we hope, oh, did y'all see Blue? He's sitting, sometimes he sits behind me. Hey, Blue, can y'all see Blue? Do a heart if you can see him. Blue, this way. Blue, right here. Blue, what's this? What's this? Look. What's that? Sometimes he sits right behind me when I do my paintings. So he'll get like really, really close. I know, you want to sit with me. So I'm going to sit on the edge so Blue can hang out too. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just, usually I would use a hole puncher if these were bigger. But I'm just going to use a exact, you know, from Harbor Freight, a little exacto knife thing and just put a hole in it like that. That way I can string these so they can go up on the camper. Another fun little tool is um, the gold paint, which is right here. After I get these strung up, I'll add some little details with gold paint. And then in a little bit, I'll have this set up so you can see the final thing. Okay. So um, again, I just want to say welcome if you're new to me. Let's put this little doggy here. If you're new to me in blue <laughs> behind me, um, I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And it's really all about just my whole, my whole thing is sharing God's love through art. You know, how can we do that and share God's love through art and still do something we absolutely love and make a little bit money while we do it, right? Um, so it's been really cool to see the ladies in paint party headquarters um, it's a it's a place where I teach over 400 women how to make money teaching paint parties. It's like a monthly thing that I teach them and give them social media hacks and all kinds of fun stuff. And we um, don't open the doors again until September 15th. So um, the doors are currently closed. But just to see like some of their posts of how, like one of the posts today from Shelly, who I adore, she um, just mentioned how like it's given her hope again. You know, she um, needed, you know, I'm not going to say what she was needing money for because that's her story to tell, but um, just the idea that she kind of lost hope and now she has this really exciting thing to, um, to work towards. I mean, like me running to Michael's and Big Lots and, you know, even the dollar store. I know the dollar store has things like this right now. Um, it was so fun, you know, to go like, yeah, I'm going to get to go make this tonight, you know, like. Do it with your kids or your grandkids. It's just something that's really fun and can bring excitement into your life. Um, maybe whenever you're just kind of looking for something new, you know, it's it's not always about money. I know a lot of times, you know, my, my motto is like profit every party. That's what I'm about. Like I teach you to have a profit every party, but really it's not always about the money. It's about, I say the paint party adventure. It's about like what could come of it. What kind of exciting, creative life? Like, you know, instead of me just sitting around watching TV right now, I mean, some people might think this is boring, but to me, this is a blast. Anybody else think stuff like this is a blast? I mean, this is like my happy place, like making a cute little camper pumpkin with a bunch of cute little things, like things like this. Um, I don't know. It just makes you excited and gives you something to look forward to. So those of you that have been scared or fearful to try a paint party, 
just do a guinea pig party. Grab a couple of friends, teach them something simple like this, um, something really easy like this, and then try it and see how you like it. You just never know. Um, I think it's the coolest thing that we're coming into, you know, we're, we're gearing up for Christmas. And to think like, give yourself a challenge, you know, can I teach two parties before Christmas and make money to pay for Christmas? You know, things like that. It's just, I don't know, it's just exciting. It's, it's exciting to think about and it's really exciting to hear these ladies that are actually doing it and, and making a difference for their family. So let me grab some string. And this black, the good thing about painting on stuff like this is it dries really quick, okay? So let me grab some string. Talk amongst yourselves, please. Sorry guys, I think my string is in one of my my paint party bags from an event. But I wanna show y'all this thing. So while I go find that string, um, go ahead and try out the link and see if it works. It's in the description. You can't find your string because it's in the piles of, of stuff you need. Let me look one more place and then I might just have to glue them on until I find the string. I bet Pixie took it. Hold on. No. She took a lot of my stuff over there, but she didn't take my string. Huh. Very strange. I just did a party recently too and I used the string, so so sorry for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue these for now and then um, I'll go back and add the string. So I'll kind of glue them on the bottom part and um, just because I wanna make sure that I can add the string and give that, um, that kind of look to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this for a minute. I just wanna make sure I'm kind of getting the right, the right form for it and then I'll turn it right back around. Okay, and I just want to, let me see, I want to put them kind of right beside each other. Okay, so what I'm doing, as you can see here, again, this is going to be a full-on um, Halloween project, okay? So I'm just kind of putting these on here, and I'll add the string later because... Lord knows where that string is. I have no idea. Okay, kind of go up. Just want to make sure I'm getting this in the right areas. Is this something y'all think y'all want to try? At home, is this something you think maybe, oh, this would be kind of cool to do with my kids or grandkids? And this is a plastic pumpkin. I was actually trying to get a real pumpkin. And um, my, um, when Pixie was little, we used to do this every year. We used to have like a big pumpkin painting party and we would do it every year. And it was just really, really cool to, um, you know, see how everybody's pumpkins turned out. So I went to the store to try to get a real one, but they are not for sale yet. 
So um, Michael's has these for sale, and right now they're 40% off. So I thought, oh, well, I guess I could do, um, you know, a, a real one that would stay. So this is gonna have string on it, but what I thought might be kind of cute is see these lights? You know, a lot of times campers have these kind of lights hung up, string lights. So I saw these with the little fall leaves, and I thought that might be really kind of cool. So um, I want you to choose which one do you think would be best? Either the fall, kind of fall leaves, or do you think I should go with like the basic fairy lights? So if you'll let me know in the comments, fairy lights or the fall leaves. Let me know which one you think. Um, let's see, but it spoils fast, so plastic would be better for, the, for here in hot Florida. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're doing this as a paint party, like the supplies are pretty high, um, if you add them up, it's definitely doable, but you want to charge more than like 35, 40, 45 bucks because you are gonna be paying, you know, $20 if you can get these on sale. Um, you want to make sure they have little extras, fun like that. And then you want them to be able to like decorate it too. So have little extras like this and maybe the little picnic table that could go in front um, with the pumpkins on top or even the little cat, I thought the cat was really cute. And then have these little side tables, you know, where they could have a little fire, just kind of a cute little setup, right? Oh, there's glitter. Um, you know, just something like that, like to kind of set it up. Um, so however you do, I bought this ghost just because I was in love with him and I didn't even know he, I didn't even know he flickered. I thought that was so adorable. Um, so yeah, so just kind of adding it because you can make this like a centerpiece in your kitchen during the fall, the fall time. So I'm going to put that doggy there. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to do with the gold. So I'm going to start adding some gold paints to these drawers because I'm keeping in this fall theme. My dog is still hanging out with me. <laughs> Blue is hanging out. And let's see, I love the fall leaves, fairy lights, fall leaves. So we got two votes for fall leaves and one vote for fairy lights. Um, Y'all keep voting on that, that'd be great. And then I'm going to add some little details. So I'm gonna use a liner brush. I'm gonna use 24 karat gold, which is my favorite from Deco Art. Um, it's Amer Americana Deco Metallic. So you can get them on Amazon or Michaels. And then I'm just gonna put dots on the bottom here. Now you could get as fancy as you want. You could use a gold paint pen. You could use, you know, add other little details on here. You could do anything you wanted. You could put, oh, that would be so cute. Um, happy fall, H-A-P-P-Y, F-A. Yeah, if you did happy fall with the right amount of, um, man, I should have done that. That would have been so cute. Maybe I can still do that. Let's see how the, oh, because it's plastic, they come right off. That's a great, great little thing to know. Okay, so H-A-P-P-Y-F-A-L-L. -L. Oh, I could have kept that. I'll just keep that one so I can have like a little extra. So like a start and then a finish. Okay, so again, I'm gonna add the, the things there. Let me see if I can find, eh, I better just do it with the brush. Okay, so I'm gonna write happy fall. And let me know if y'all have any questions about this. I just really was inspired by this Pinterest post. Um, and I, I just can't, I couldn't get out of my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna copy it exactly because I wanna be um, ethical and not just, you know, copyright, but there was no artist name to it. Um, but still, it doesn't make it right just because there's not an artist name. So I was like, how could I do a similar kind of make it fun, but not copy it, but make it a Halloween version? And um, because I think sometimes in the craft world, because Pinterest is so accessible, we just think that if people post it, they want us to copy it and use it forever, you know? And, and a lot of people, especially if they have businesses, it's their way to um, share what they're doing you know, but also, you know, they don't want you just taking, taking their stuff, <laughs> you know, especially if they've come up with it. So I know sometimes in the craft world, it can be 
hard and I don't think it's a big deal if you're doing stuff and you're not charging. I don't think that's a big deal at all. But when you um, start to charge for stuff, I think it's important to always make sure you have permission to use somebody's exact idea. So if you're changing stuff up and you're making it your own, that's a different story where you're like, Frank, I call it Franking, Frankensteining it, where you're making it your own, you're inspired by others, but you're turning it into your own thing. That's different, but if you're just like, totally copying and making money off of it, it's it's not right. You just wanna make sure you're doing um, doing the right thing, just ethically, because as as you grow your business, or even like you start to get really good at stuff and you wanna show it online, you just always wanna be proud. Like, hey, I made this like from my head, you know, and it came to me or whatever. Okay, so I just put happy fall. and um, I'm gonna just add a little window here. Let me see if I have, um, some details with the windows. I'm thinking they have a little bit of curtains. I want to add a white, a white little area. I would love to do some kind of like um, spooky, like spider web or something like that. So if y'all have an idea, I'm open to it. Cause I'm kind of just creating this part all, you know, kind of out of my head <laughs> right now. I'm just kind of going with it. Um, so I think I'm going to add some white and add a little bit of a window. And again, those of y'all that are new, I am doing Happy Mail today. So those of y'all that are sharing, you can click the link in the top and it's going to give you a automatic message that will um, give you the kind of, you know, in the running for the chance to win the Happy Mail. And then um, you should receive it immediately. It's automatic. So it's like from a... Facebook robot. I don't really know all those specifics. Okay, so I'm just gonna add me a window. And if you use a black light, you know a lot of, I've been doing a lot of black light paintings lately with neon paints. If you use a black light, white paint will work too. So if you have your little um, neon flashlight, like I have these little ones that I've been using at black light parties. They can shine it and see that it glows. And so kids love this so much. Like I did this really cute llama painting and I let a bunch of the kids hold the little black light flashlight. And um, it was so cute to just watch them. Like every time they did a stroke of paint, they checked to see if it would glow. And you don't even have to have it in the um you don't have to have it in the dark for it to work so i thought that was really cool too because they're getting like real time and it's fun for us too we like to see that just like they do okay so i have some ideas um let's see sunflowers and window boxes under windows great idea jess um oh leah shared rebecca shared oh thank you all so much um yeah we really appreciate y'all sharing Okay, so let's get this little detail. And then I'm gonna outline it and add a little bit of gold. So this part, I'm just getting a little bit of paint on both sides of my brush so it makes it really straight. And then I'm just gonna kind of carefully, because we have those bumps, those ridges, Again, this part makes me concentrate. <laughs> it's like hard for me to talk when I do this part. <laughs> okay, and again, some of this is like wet on wet, that's fine. And I'm gonna trace over this. I'm going to do this a little looser. Make it look a little bit more shabby chic, like a camper. 
Okay, I love the sunflower idea. So I think I'm gonna make a, a little bit of a curtain and sunflower idea. And then I'm going to, ooh, a ghost in the window. Audrey, I love where your head's at. So long before I did any kind of cutout shapes, um, my dad, and I, I get them out every year. I'll show y'all when I get them out of the storage. But my dad cut out these little simple ghosts out of wood. And, um, and we kind of, you know, he would cut them out and then I would paint them. And so I have three ghosts. There's three different little ghosts that I put in my windows every single year. And it was when I was probably in high school when I painted these for my dad. And I think it's so crazy that like fast forward, you know, 20 something years, um, it's crazy to think like, oh my gosh, now, I mean, everything I do is wood cutouts or canvas or whatever the case is. And my dad was the one that like, you know, kind of started that with me. It was cool. And um, he actually like made um, music notes for us, which is something that I've been painting for people. Um, like if they're in cheer and band. And so he had like a big music note with our name on it. If we were in band and a big um, drill team thing for my sister because she was in drill team. So I just, I don't know, I thought that was so cool and it didn't hit me till this year um, when I was like thinking about the decorations. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. You know, that he used to cut those out for me. And then um, now, you know, it's like full on, <laughs> full on everything I'm doing every day. So um, I'm gonna try to paint this little ghost here. So I'm gonna look at him. Um, I'm gonna do a little, just a little boo ghost, nothing serious. And then I'm gonna put some sunflowers in front of him. Just a cute little ghost with some sunflowers. So I'm adding just a white, looks almost like a blob here, but he's gonna have some eyes in a minute and a mouth in yellow or gold. And so he'll look more like a ghost in a minute. And then I'm gonna put some sunflowers with him, okay? So I'm gonna add over here another little friend, a friendly ghost over here. So this is a, a ghost owned camper. Oh, it'd be cute too. And um, if I had more time to put a little Frankenstein or something in there it would be really cute. Or a witch, the witch owns the camper. <laughs> that would be really adorable. That's for the next one. Okay, so we have that going on. And then um, I'm gonna let that dry for just a second while I add a few sunflowers. So. Let me get out a couple of sunflower colors. I'm gonna use just a tad bit of orange. And this is a jack-o'-lantern orange from Deco Art. Jack-o'-lantern orange from Deco Art. And then I have a yellow right here, just a, a yellow Americana. It's a satin, but it doesn't matter. I'm just using a bright yellow. So I'm just gonna kind of make some basic sunflowers. Nothing major because it's just real small in the window. So just doing really a couple of just lines coming out. And then I'll add a, a black detail in the middle. You could get as fancy as you wanted with this. But I think it's going to look really cute when I add the string, when I add the lights. Um, I think it's all going to really come together as something really, really cute. Um, black cat beside the door. Oh, yeah, kind of like this. I bought this cute little black cat to be sitting out by the fire. Um, he could be up here. <laughs> he could be hanging out up on top. Wouldn't that be cute? I could glue him. What do y'all think about that? I kind of like that idea. He's like watching over. What do you think? Yes on the cat on the top or keep him down here with everything. Let me know. I'll take y'all's opinions on that. Okay, I'm going to add a few more over here. And the thing I've noticed about pump painting on this kind of plastic pumpkin is sometimes you want to do two coats. So if you have a, a layer on there and it's not as thick as you want, go ahead and add another layer. Um, and you could always, even if you're doing this at a paint party, maybe you do a smaller version. Um, maybe you don't get a pumpkin this big. Um, cat on top for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. I will glue him on the, on the top. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of orange in here. Not much. 
Just dabbing it in, nothing major. And then I'll add some black for the center. And usually I would add probably a brownish, but since I'm just trying to do this kind of fast, I'm just adding that for now. Okay, so eyes for the ghost. Should I do the eyes in black or in yellow or gold? What do y'all think? Ooh, cat on top. Everybody's for the cat on top. Let's get this pup, this puppy. Let's get this cat glued. Let me see where he should go. <laughs> he's so cute. Yep, yeah, he's gonna perch right there. He's watching over the campsite, the trick-or-treaters. Okay. All right, so we got the camper, the, the cat on there. Um, what did y'all say about the eyes? Okay, black. Um, I love this version, but I love all things October and Halloween. Yes, I love all things. So for those of y'all that are just joining, this is what I found on Pinterest by an unknown artist, and I am creating a Halloween version. So all kinds of fun stuff that I got from like little campfires, and just cute little fairy stuff that I can add to it to make this almost like if I want this to be on my kitchen bar it's like a decoration for the fall and um, you know or maybe close to the fireplace area or whatever can kind of make it fun okay so I'm gonna grab my liner brush again if I can find my good one where's my favorite one oh there it is okay so I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do like these fun eyes like he has and um, so the, oh, we need a little bit more white on these ghosts. Um, ghost waving. <laughs> Is that part of the, oh, make the ghost waving? Are you thinking that? Oh, I like the idea of lime green eyes. That's cute. So we can make the ghost here. And then let me see if I can add a little. I think what I could do too is I could add some like, purple neon polka dots or something still fall but halloween polka dots in the door or in the um the part of the window something like that to, to kind of spice it up ghost waving yes okay so let me see if i can make him wave does that look like an oven mitt or is that a ghost waving what do y'all think Tell me the truth. My feelings don't get hurt easily. Okay, so, okay, so we have fall, happy fall. Um, I'm gonna add string when I find the string. Um, we can do a little bit of a door, door decoration here. Let me add a little thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some, um, some curtains in the doorway. So we have, maybe I'll add some orange or some, should I go with orange curtains or should I go with purple? Since it is purple still kind of a Halloween color. What do y'all think? Um, purple polka dot curtains, yes. Okay, great. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for helping me make these decisions. I didn't have this one all the way planned out. And um, this is a really bright purple. Let me see if it's my neon. Um, can I get a neon purple? I know I have a neon, neon orange. Let me see. Neon green, neon orange, neon yellow. Look y'all, blue is sticking it out. He is hanging out the whole time. <laughs> he wants to go on a walk. I need to get him on a walk. Okay, so purple, got it. Okay, so I have all these neons. I'm gonna go with some purple, and then I'm gonna make some little dots, just kind of spruce it up. Um, a lot of doing, oh yeah, we have the purple in the hat to bring from, so that'll be good. Um, a lot of doing a painting, any kind of painting, whether it's a pumpkin painting or whatever, everything happens the last, I always say the last 10 minutes, the last five to 10 minutes. 
Um, so many people always, you know, get freaked out and they think, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Or, you know, they're just like all, you know, upset and not sure what to do. And it really, guys, we have a new rule in my house. I was telling somebody this earlier. Um, you know, used to Pixie or Bobby would walk by and even if it wasn't something mean, it was just a comment about what my art looked like at that moment. Um, it would just totally like ruin my confidence. And so, especially when Pixie was younger, she didn't know any better. She would just walk by and go, oh my gosh, mom. Well, I'm at like stage one of stage 10 of this painting, of course. It's like the base, you know, it doesn't look like nothing yet. And so, um, we got to a place where I was like, new rule in the Easley family household. Nobody is allowed to tell me anything about my paintings until I ask for your opinion. <laughs> because, you know, this art studio, the other side of this is a disaster. Like I'm working on several projects right now and, um, and I, I can't even find my string. Like it's just right now it's a disaster. And so, um, so we have a new rule where they're not allowed to say like, oh, they like that or, um, you know, any kind of comments on it unless I'm like, hey, what do you think of my new painting? Then when I ask them, then they're like, oh, yeah, okay, that's great. But I had to make that rule because what happens is, you know, the enemy gets in your head and then you're like, oh, you know, it takes away that inspiration. Like you go at it thinking like, I'm so excited because I have a vision, you know, of like what I want this to look like at the end. But they can, you know, see it at stage one and go like, oh, that's going to be crap, you know, but they don't see the final vision like we see it in our head. So you have got to put some boundaries or some rules for people who, um, you know, don't understand the creative process, <laughs> um, especially, you know, our family and stuff like that. If they don't understand that creative process, you know, it's not their fault, you know, they just don't understand it. And then, you know, here we are trying to, to create stuff and we're already self-conscious and we're already like, you know, not sure if we're, you know, doing the right thing. And then for somebody to like, you know, hijack our joy in, you know, just a few minutes of, you know, just from a, a comment, they might, you know, they're just saying it in passing. And um, so, yeah, so I recommend having that rule, especially if you have those family members that like to comment on everything you do, just tell them, just say, you know, no, I just don't look at it. Don't comment till the end. Okay. So polka dots on the curtains, green. Yes. I have a, um, Light, should I do the, the glow green or should I go with a just bright green? Yeah, that's neon. So that's going to glow. See how it glows? So that'll glow under a black light and kind of give it some more fun. I'm going to go with neon so we can have some more neon stuff. Okay, so um, for those of y'all that don't know me, Heidi Easley. Um, I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. So I just want to say if you're new to me, if you would please put new. I would love to know if any of y'all are new in this group. And then also I would love to know um, if you are teaching paint parties. So if you're currently teaching paint parties, even people who already know me, um, if you'll put that in the comments. If you are brand new to this, you're like, who the heck is this girl doing a crazy camper? Um, let me know that too. And let me know where you're from. I love to see where new people are from. Okay, so I'm just adding that. I'm gonna add some eyes to these ghosts. Yes, the neon will be so fun. Do eyes go green or yellow? Ooh, I can do the green. Um, let me see which will show up better. I'm gonna do green polka dots on the curtains. And then I think I'll do maybe green eyes on the on the, um, I was going to say snowman. I got snowman on my brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. We have a lot of new people. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. There's a link in the description. If you click on it, it's going to give you an automatic message from my, um, from Facebook Autobots. I'm, I'm calling it the Transformer Autobots. I don't know what it does, but it does something silly. But anyway, it puts you in a um, chance to win Happy Mail. And then I like to ship out a fun little package to one person when I do these lives. So make sure you um, sign up for that. Okay, let me see if I can get some eyes on here. Okay, and I still like the idea of having like a spider web. 
somewhere down here maybe. Um, let's see, kind of new, only watched you a couple of times. Well, welcome again, Kimberly. And Debbie, I see it, um, I see it from somewhere Valley, Kentucky. Oh, awesome, from Kentucky. New from Arkansas, yay. Kelly, teaching parties here in Virginia. I love that. Um, yeah, teaching paint parties has changed my life forever. And um, I always love mentoring ladies and teaching them how to teach paint parties because I know just, I just know the impact. And this green is not showing up. So let me go to black on the eyes so y'all can see these cute little ghost eyes um, because right now you're not gonna be able to see them. Okay, let me get the eyes on here so y'all can see them. Cute little ghost smiling there. And in this, because it's kind of wet on wet, I might go back after I'm finished with the live and just do a few little updates. Just so when, you know, sometimes when you're painting upside down over it, you miss some stuff. <laughs> Let's see, and Melena says, I'm so lucky my kids all seem to like my painting. Love watching you. Melena, that's because you are super talented. She is such a great artist. Um, of course they love watching you paint. You're so good. Um, I see the sign behind you, LOL. Which sign? I have a bunch. Oh, give us a like if you see this. Yay! Good, it worked. Um, okay, so I have the eyes. Let me put a little a mouth. I'm going to do like a singing ghost. Okay, all right. So I could just decorate this forever. So I just want to show you a little bit of the glowing how, see how that glow, glows like that? Can y'all see that, the black light? People love that, especially the kids. Well, I love it, like it's really fun. It's really fun to me. Okay, so what I would do now is after, I would spruce it up just a little bit more. I would attach these somehow so that the back covers back here. So this could be part of this. Of course, I'm gonna add the little strings that go in, like a burlap string. But these glow, which are really pretty. And then what I would do is, uh, I'm getting paint on it. What I would do is kind of attach that with glue or wire. And then I would pick the items that I really liked. So I know right now I kind of have a mess and it's not the area of my dining room where I would put it. But I would probably put like a, a fun little tablecloth there. And then I would put down like the little table and maybe over here we have you know, the fire sitting here, not too close to the camper, because that would be dumb. And then maybe the dog's hanging out, and I have maybe a ghost over here, and maybe there's another little fire over here for some reason. And then we're cooking in two places because I found two stoves. <laughs> so there's the thing. So then, and maybe I could put that there. So it's just like a fun little kind of happy fall thing. Let me show you just a little bit up close, okay? So you have all your fun little details that you can get at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, Big Lots, anything like that, and just have a blast with it. And then when you click on, this is, I think I messed that up. I'll have to go back and fix that. This is a black light that you can just kind of glow and either paint that on and there, and there's the cat, of course. Can y'all see the cat? There he is. So cute. So I just glued him on. And somebody asked what September 5th is. It is the free Paint Party Revolution video series I'm releasing. So if you are not on my email list yet, go to www.texasartandsoul.com and you can um, get my free ebook. I have a book like this that it's 17 on my website, but you can get it for free if you go to my website, or I'm sorry, don't go to my website. Go to another one of my Facebook Lives and you'll see some of them where I give this for free. And then it will put you on my email list so that you can get access to the free video series. And it's three videos that I teach you all about supplies for paint parties, how to book paint parties fast, and then kind of um, all the steps to kind of getting started. It's really, really awesome. So anyway, um, Jess says, are you putting wheels on? Kelly says, I'm losing my voice. Um, one fire for cooking, the other for s'mores. <laughs> yeah, very true. Yeah, am I putting wheels on? I don't know if I'm going to put wheels on. I could, 
but I am not sure yet if I'll put wheels on it. Um, I'll probably spruce up the actual painting part a little bit more. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all this quick tutorial and let y'all see kind of how that was done. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll be checking in the next few days. I'll pick somebody to do the happy mail to. So thank y'all so much for um, clicking the link in the description. And that will get you the automatic message. And then I'll pick one of you to share happy mail with. All right, guys. Y'all have a great night.